of the southeast coast of Africa. Mauritius is an island of volcanic origin with a surface area of 720 square miles. Mountains scattered throughout the island, tropical forests and plants are other features that add to the natural beauty of the island. Its 90 miles of white sandy beaches and its transparent lagoons are protected from the open sea by the world's third largest coral reef, which almost entirely surrounds the island. It is said that the island was first sighted by the Arabs, explored by the Portuguese, and first settled by the Dutch, who named it Mauritius in honor of Prince Maurice of Nassau, and they introduced, among other things, the sugarcane, a crop that was to become the island's lifeblood. History also recounts that during their stay, the Dutch also raised the black ebony forests and killed off the dodo, the world's most famous extinct bird, today immortalized as a proud emblem of Mauritius. They finally abandoned their settlement in 1710.
came from the sea in their bare feet, stepping on this flag, half dead, half alive. They came up the steps to make the cart a temporary port, a crossroads where the diverse destinies and paths met, an obscure theater where history changed its course. These stone steps still remember the new slaves rising to feed the iron jaws of sugar mills, to water this earth with their sweat and blood, to illumine this land with the ancestral light of India. It was mainly from the northern parts of India that the greater part of Indian immigrants arrived. They were Hindus and Muslims, almost all of them Bhojpuri speaking, of various castes and professions, and of different backgrounds, especially from the regions of Bihar and eastern UP. It was chiefly these immigrants who, after serving their term of indenture and finally freeing from the restrictions of plantation life, moved out on their own to disseminate Hinduism and Islam throughout the island. Political freedom in Mauritius brought about a remarkable change in the cultural atmosphere and it became important for the people of this country to muster their resources in order to preserve and promote their religion and culture, which also flowed through a rich and resurgent rural culture. It was the first copies of the sacred epics of Ram Charit Manas and the Mahabharata, which established Hinduism in this land. The Satyarth Prakash of Swami Dayanand also found its way to the hearts of the Hindus and is as widely read. <laughs> is an occasion for 